All right, you're still watching Ways. Today is Go Caroling Day. Go Caroling Day is an annual celebration held on December 20th for, of um, every year. Christmas celebration wouldn't get started without the carol. Um, wonder what carol is? It is? It is nothing but singing songs door to door in celebration of the holiday. And that is um, the Christmas as holiday. Pretty, uh, basically the launch to Christmas. Yes. So yeah. Sanzi, you're the, you're the orchestra here. Oh. But we don't practice this go Car uh, caroling day in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Yeah. But we, we actually go from one Christmas concert. We do our yeah, own. Yeah, we have, especially basically churches. In churches. Yes. But people um, in other climes, they actually go knock mm. on people's okay. doors yeah, yeah, with a, a Listen, full... <laughs> oh, our own Christmas carol is rush hour to the market. Mm. Like, you spend your city in traffic. That's why there's so much traffic everywhere. Doing, about, or going to the market. Nobody has that time for carol. Are you kidding me? That's what I'm oh, saying. Is that so one. So okay. I'm saying that our own kind of carol is organized. Mm. So it means that you're going to a venue, you know. But this go caroling day, you actually so need to go door to door. door. So you just and have a group of children, which is more interesting. So yeah. you just go knock and just sing, make the person feel merry. I wish we we. I wouldn't even we'll open the door. I'm like, like listen, <laughs> Auntie is I think too we stressed. Can. Have we? We can actually plan it. We can actually plan it. I'm not about that Cause life. Because Sansi has a no, good I voice. I do, but I'm yeah. not about that we'll life. About no, Sansi, okay. don't worry. We'll tell you where you go. To. Don't worry. When we, <laughs> when, we, when we tell you the person's door you're knocking on, I'm sure you would. <laughs> I'll sing that plus TV party. Is that OK? <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's quickly move to what to we that? found um, in the news today. Lami, you want to go first? OK. Um, it's about what's been hot in the news, about the renovation budgetary allocation hmm. to the National Assembly Complex. Please tell me how much again? 37 billion naira. Hmm. And <clears throat> I'm trying to juxtapose this allocation against the allocation made to FEMA. FEMA is the agency that has it's the responsibility of roads, yeah. maintaining the roads. Her highways, yeah. So if we're looking at... How much was allocated to FEMA, do you know? 22 billion. So it's the disparity i really just can't that's what really interested me in the story i'm not even i don't have a big problem about how much has been allocated to the national assembly because i don't know how big the edifice is but i would like to, my problem is the the firma has just 22 billion and they've stated that it's barely enough to scratch even the any surface so i really do not understand why we need 37 billion it's right. not it's, it doesn't even make sense at the point where we have other critical sectors yes I that are in, that are in need of serious funding mm -hmm. so why would they even decide to allocate 30 oh, wow. and the president approved this that. bill if that money was committed into education or even healthcare, or even agriculture do you know what that would do a lot of difference Wow. I don't know. Well, is it that? I just hope, I hope they are listening, though. Uh, so our lawmakers, I don't know what the problem is with Nigerian leaders. Why are we so self-centered? I think once they get into government, they forget. They lose it. Yeah. What's the problem? <laughs> misplaced priority. Very, very misplaced. Yeah. Honestly, I really don't understand. Sansi, you, you found another story in the news. Yes, I did. And this time, it's still um, with the um, government officials, but more like officials than um, Lagos residents. Remember the yearly um, lake rice yeah. mm -hmm. being sold by Lagos um, yeah. um, government officials? So um, this year, Lagos residents are complaining. This was found in the Guardian newspaper that um, they can't. That some have been queuing up since Tuesday, and they have not been able to get the rice. Now, the reason some would rather prefer the lake rice is because, according to them, it's stone free and then it's cheaper. An average bag of rice is about twenty-five thousand in the market, but this one is sold for. Um, 17,000 17, naira, yes. And so the thing is, what angers a lot of people is the fact that they would see trucks load rice into the compound, but then the officials sitting out there would tell them, I'm sorry, we can't sell because we are out of bags. So, I guess they just <laughs> the, hold on. 
<laughs> and yet they would see people, a few people, maybe a few privileged ones, walk in there I just and come walk out with bags like of rice. And you know, this reminded me of sometime in, Kan in Kaduna when I was at the Rigasa train station going to Abuja. I wanted to get a ticket. They told me there was no ticket. But I saw people buying tickets. So I'm like, what is going on? Is there some spiritual transaction I'm not aware of? <laughs> But it's, but it's so interesting, but I don't know. I keep telling people, maybe, you know, my mom actually called me. Mm -hmm. She was so happy telling me, oh, wow, I got a big bag of rice for you. Oh. I said, mommy, oh, I'm sorry, I don't need... Mm. She was in shock. I said, but mommy, you know that. I mean, rice is not really part of my, my staple diet Same right now. Me. Do you understand? So, for me. I'm really not really... Care. I'm Honestly, I'm indifferent about the But rest. you know what? I'm, I am indifferent. <laughs> I, I am different, not indifferent. <laughs> but it is because, because, Okay. Sorry. It's the Yuletide season, yeah. Because it's going to affect the prices of Owambe. Really? Yes. Parties, As a yes. party woman, Abby. As a party woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you have any function now, you're in trouble. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, and plus, aside from parties, as an Igbo person, mm -hmm. when you're traveling home, you're expected to bring a bag of rice and give to uh, family, family well, in-laws, right presents. Because well, they some people are hijacking like um, people traveling with all those sorts of... You have to be careful. No, I think what they Why? do right now is um, you, you buy it from yeah. over there. Yeah, it's best. You, know, you don't so transport, don't it, transport from Lagos. it because... Yes. Ah, let them not come and arrest you. No, but if it comes you in a smuggler. commercial quantity, why would you not? It doesn't matter. I saw, in fact, I saw, was it the, it was um, customs now. I saw them even from the, the um, tricycle. Is it tricycle? The mot no, bicycle. the motorbike. motorbike. Yes. The motorbikes. Their fuel tank that is supposed to have fuel inside. It was the, rice that they were no, pouring out. No. That's how, then from um, big um, 33,000 liter um, trucks. I saw, I watched it in the news. I can't remember which day was it. Maybe two days ago or something. From the tanker. So where you are supposed to have your load, your PMS or your diesel. Mm -hmm. It was bags of rice they were bringing out from so inside the tanker. The rice is so there's a lot of, there's a lot of smuggling um, tactics wow. going on. Well, my own story is a, is a bit, um, you know, is a bit worrisome. Mm -hmm. The former Minister for Defence, um, Lieutenant General, what's his name, T.Y. Dan Danjuma, Danjuma. Uh, retired, warned <clears throat> that in Yoruba land, everyone seemed to have lost their voice in terms of speaking against um, this governance collapse that we are having currently. And um, that the nation, you know, he, he used words that were very scary, that the nation is in a big hole stressing the need for everyone to be awake. It was, he said the statement at a book launch of the Nigerian Tribune. Um, the title of the book, I think, was 70 Years of Progressive Journalism. He said, if I tell you what I know, you will no longer sleep. In so fact, tell us. That that's it, it, that's what, that's what Nigerians are even saying. He said, but, he said, but for whoever say. wants to find out, he will tell the person in, in private, private because once he opens his mouth to tell you all the things that rot. he knows right now, mm. the current rot happening in Nigeria. I mean, this is a very, very strong allegation, allegation against the entire um, what's it called? Federation government. 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 So we cannot take it lightly. And he sh and please, we need to hold him accountable. He needs to come out because if we say we're truly patriotic, for instance, do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you see that Nigeria is truly in a hole, would oh. you just keep quiet and just watch? I, I feel that statement is very, very it's strong. It's, it's very strong and it's so insensitive for you to say you will not say it. We need to know what the issues are so we'll trash it. That's how I feel. Okay, my, I have a slightly um, different divergent opinion. He might have, you know, sometimes you have access to some information but you don't have evidence to back it up. Well, that's true. That's one because as a lawyer, yes, that's true. So he needs, he can't just come in and spill stuff without being able to back it up with any evidence. So you don't say well, that the openly. Fact are there, but there are no evidence. Sometimes, mm -hmm. so that's true. Makes it and I didn't like the fact that he was sectional because Lamy and I were yes, talking. He was sectional. Uh, yes, you bad bad people. Why you? It's not really. People? So I it's mean, a, let's not. Yeah. It's a general thing. Let's yeah, not just even segment this thing at all. You know. I think people generally Nigerians have become lethargic. Yeah. Nobody's saying anything, and I think I'm. I'm also a victim. I'm also part of it because before I used to be very vocal, vocal. But these days I've become so lethargic. I just scroll. Like through. your voice doesn't matter. I've been wired. Anymore. Yes, I think that's the stage we Nigerians wow. are at the moment. It's a very Sad. tough one today. <laughs> well, today we are talking all the way. We're talking about social media. We're talking about different stuff. But first, we want to look at because um, sometimes in December 2018, the Russian president proposed the control on rap lyrics. So that would be what our conversation will be around after this break. Please stay with us.